Hello and welcome to my workout. This one is a workout for hands, fingers and wrists. We don't think of hands, fingers and wrists needing a workout, but when you think about it, there's an awful lot of joints, a lot of moving parts involved in hands and wrists and fingers. And also we need them to do an awful lot of things in everyday life. So 10 minutes spent, if you want sitting down, doing a workout. I'm going to be using a ball. I've got a couple of varieties of balls here. This is a juggling ball. This is a soft, squidgy, spongy ball thing. And I've also got a face flannel or one of these stretchy bands that quite often the physios give you. If you've got one of these, resurrect it because we're going to use that possibly. Anyway, that's for later. Right now, a couple of things to remember. One, sit on a sturdy chair and make sure if possible that you can sit at the front. If you suffer from back problems, use a few cushions just to keep you bolstered so that even if you're sitting a bit further back, you're sitting nice and upright using good posture. Make sure that your space is clear around you and that you haven't got pets wandering in around distracting you. Always keep a bottle or a glass of water to hand just to make sure that you are reminding yourself to take regular sips of water throughout the day. Water is good for the body, good for the brain. Okay, enough said, let's get on with the workout. You can do the entire thing seated. Exercise number one is for the wrists. So we're just going to start with up and down. So literally fingers, hands up, hands down, hands up, hands down. You can do this one hand at a time. All of these ones you can do one hand at a time. If your hands are quite stiff, if your wrists are quite stiff, it's better to concentrate on just doing one at a time rather than just trying to do them together and one of them getting a good workout and the other one being forgotten about. So this way you can make sure individually that you're really working them, okay? But if you prefer to, or if you're very confident about both of them being quite good, you can do them both together. Also, wrists, Fists, fists and wrists, fists closed, up and down, as well as fists open with long fingers. Okay, both ways around. And then from there, we're going to go into circling through the wrists. Now, when you circle around your wrists, try to keep the hand as open as possible, all the way around, and see my arm is staying quite still. So don't have your arm moving around here. Keep it neat so that you're maximizing the work at the wrist, then going around the other way. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Again, you can do both together at the same time if you want, or swap between hands. There's a lot to be said for swapping between hands. That way you're going to notice little differences in the way that different bits of your hands and fingers perform, which you might not notice if you're doing them both together. So around the other way. And don't skimp on the up bit because that's usually the really hard bit, bringing it up again, keeping the rest of the arm still. Okay, next one. So moving on from there, we're going to do magician hands. Just like that. Abracadabra. Open. So make a fist, close and open. Grip and open. Screw it up and open. Spread the fingers wide. You can do it high, wide, low, or just in front, whichever you prefer. All right, this is getting extra work out for your arms as well, but you don't need to. You can just keep it all here if you want to. Okay, after that, we're doing piano fingers. So piano fingers, each one at a time. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna keep them straight, these fingers, really straight. Now you can do this in the air, or you can do it with your hand on your knee. Don't know if you can see that down there. So I'd have my hand on my knee, each one just pressing down. And sometimes it's a bit easier if you've got really stiff fingers that don't wanna do these individual movements to try them on something so that you're pressing down lightly on something, or you can try them in the air. Two hands at a time or one hand at a time. 
And when you've done each one like that, we're going to do them now with the fingers all bent. So this is really more like playing the piano, this one. Don't forget the thumbs. The thumbs are important as well here. So each one in turn, one hand at a time if you prefer, trying to bend each finger or both hands at the same time if you'd rather do it that way. If you're very happy about that, each one in turn and then bent on the way back, straight and bent, straight and bent, straight and bent, and then double time. There we are, that's even harder, trying to get them all going one at a time and just shake them out there because that's actually quite a lot of work. Okay, after that, the next one is thumbs. So, for thumbs, firstly, we're going to do circling thumbs. Now, you can do this either one thumb at a time or both at a time. Can you see, I'm now keeping the rest of my fingers completely still, just the thumb doing the circle. And then I'm going around the other way, thumb circling. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other hand, thumb circling and fingers staying still and arms staying still and just the thumb and then round the other way, round the other way and try them both together. And then you can make a bit of an exercise doing them opposite way around or opposite way around or even the same way around with the thumbs and the same way around, but going around the other way. Okay, lots of fun there. Shake out, shake out. Next, thumb one. Thumb comes across and we stay there. Two, three, and back again. That is hard. And over, two, three, touching the hand. And over, two, three, touching the hand and back. And in, two, three, and back. And one more of those, in, two, three, and back. Try to do five each side. One, two, three, and back. It can be quite painful. So don't push it if it's really painful, but just try to go as far as you can go. If you can only go that far, go that far. Once you keep practicing, you'll find you can probably go a little bit further than you could the week before or the week before that. Okay, next thumb one, thumb pressing fingers. Thumb to finger, thumb to finger, thumb to finger. I'm doing each one in turn, getting to the little finger, coming back again, press, press. It's like you're either, you know, one of those um, like little plastic bubbles that you're popping or squashing an ant, not very nice, but pressing, 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 pressing. Pressing might be easier on one hand than the other and pay attention to the fourth finger and the little finger presses because they're the hardest ones to do with the thumb. Um, both at the same time, if you want a bit of coordination work going on there, pressing, 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 pressing and quick time pressing. That's advanced. A bit more work there. And shake out. Okay. So we've done quite a lot of work there for the thumbs. So grip exercise. This is a bit more for strength work for the actual hand grip. So we're going to do either with a sort of juggling type ball or with a squidgy spongy ball or with anything else that's just kind of screwed up. I suppose I could do it really with the, the flannel and then just grip the flannel like that. Okay, so whichever of these you have to hand around your house will do. So here we go. We're just going to literally hold it cupped in the hand and I'm going to squeeze it, squash it as hard as I can. Hold that for five, being sure that I breathe. Two, three, four, five and let go. All right. So always make sure you breathe. It's a good discipline. Squeeze and count out loud to yourself. Three, four, five and let go. That way you know you're breathing. Otherwise, there is a temptation when we squeeze really hard, when we do a really hard muscle work to go, <gasps> hold your breath, but don't do that. Not a good idea. Same with the other hand. You are squeezing and count. Two, three, four, five, and release. So this is a big grip. Grip, two, three, four, five, and release. And one more of those. And grip, two, three, four, five, and release. Okay. So once you've done that one, similar thing, but even a slightly different sort of uh, grip, squeeze, strength 
thing is working with this band. So this is one of these um, stretchy, uh, elasticated bands that a lot of people get given from physiotherapists or from people like me, exercise teachers. And it doesn't really matter as long as it's not too strong, the band, or it mustn't be too big and thick. But you want to um, roll it up, which is a nice little dexterity exercise in, in its own right. And then we're going to hold it. You can do it with a flannel. So you can just roll the flannel up exactly the same. Roll your flannel. And then you're going to be holding it upright, upright. So whichever of these you're using, upright, one hand stacked on top of the other. Keep your shoulders and elbows in. And then, this is the only tricky bit here. You're going to, you're, you're going to twist both hands around. I'm going to show you this like this. See what happens to my wrists. They're coming together and crossing over. If I twist the other way, look what happens. They're going to go away and make a big hole here. So I want to do it. The right way is to close up and not make the hole. So the wrists are almost crossing over. And we're doing that upright. And it's going to stay upright. And now here's the actual work. We're pulling the top hand up and the bottom hand down. As hard as you can. Pulling up, pulling down, pulling up, pulling down, pulling up pulling down and release and we do that three times so you do the twist like you're wringing out the water keeping it upright then pull hard as you can pull up pull down pull up pull down pull up pull down and release so three times one more this way twist it then pull as hard as you can pull and pull and breathe and pull and pull and release. That's quite hard work. So I'm going to now do it. So here's where I was. I'm just going to show you what I do. Take the top hand away and put the bottom, bottom hand at the top and top hand at the bottom. So you're switching over. So now I've got it the other way around. But exactly the same thing. When you twist, you're twisting the wrists in together, not to make a big hole here. So twist the wrists in together, keeping everything upright. Then pull up, pull down. Pull up, pull down, pull up, pull down as hard as you can and release. Again, twist and pull. Top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom and release. I am pulling really hard. And again, last time. And pull and pull and pull and release. <laughs> We're done. Okay, shake out. Shake out. So really make your wrists go floppy at this point so that you get lots and lots of shaking out. You see, loosen, loosen them, loosen them, loosen them. Go high, go low, go down here, go up, go about, and just nice floppy, loose wrists. Just to get rid of all of that work that we just did. You've now done your wrist and hand and finger exercises for the day. Come back again, watch another one, do this one again. This is safe to do every day or two, okay? If you have very arthritic joints, then don't do it when you feel that your fingers are actually actively inflamed or hurting at all. But on the good days, do do it. Okay, see you next time.